Hey, welcome back to the channel. And do I have a video for you today? Yes, I do. Look at all these barbells. Man, it's like barbell heaven back here. Uh, these are actually only 10 barbells. Uh, believe it or not, I have more than this. Uh, and some of you watching have a lot more than this. So you have a way bigger problem than me. But I wanted to do a video to look at my top 10 barbells and rank them from one to 10 and talk a little bit about them, what I buy them again, what I like about them, what I don't like about them. So if you're interested in that kind of a video and you love barbells, stick around. Okay, so the first bar I want to talk about is a bar maybe you haven't heard of. I know you've heard of Titan Fitness though. It's a Titan fit Fitness bar. It's the Titan Midway Olympic Power Bar. It's a 30 millimeter bar. It has both power and Olympic markings. It has a center knurl and it's pretty passively knurled. Uh, I got this bar for a couple reasons. I wanted a bar that had both uh, that it was a multi-use type bar, but that had a center knurl. And when you look at most bars, multi-use bars like the Ohio bar uh, and just others, you're going to find them without a center knurl. And I wanted a bar that had both markings plus a center knurl, uh, and I found it in this bar. The other thing is this bar was very, very cheap. I got this for under $200, um, and that's with shipping, with tax, everything. It's also the only bar I've ever bought twice. And the reason I bought this bar twice is recently Titans come up with a whole new lineup of bars. So they were getting rid of their old bars and I was able to get this with shipping, with tax for $86. So I bought it again. Uh, it's hard chrome. With chrome, you never know if it's gonna last. I gotta say, it's lasted pretty well. I've benched over 300 pounds with this bar. I've squatted over 400 pounds with this bar and I've deadlifted over 400 pounds with this bar. And it's really good bar. For a value budget bar, this is a great bar. Is it great to deadlift with? No, 30 millimeters, a little bit big. You know, it's kind of hard to grip and it also has a passive knurl. Not the best deadlift bar, but it will work. So on this bar, I'm gonna rank it out of my 10, number eight. Okay, come down here. Let's look at our next bar. Uh, I tried to, to do the review with the bar up here and I got Tangled in the in the rack. I uh, didn't think I was going to get out. Maybe I'll do some uh, bloopers at the end, but it was not pretty. But Rep Fitness Open Trap Bar. This one, I really was excited when I got it. It's a beast. It's 75 pounds if you count the handles. And these handles are removable. Check out my full review if you haven't. Great neural. Uh, it's a great bar. It also seconds as a camber bar. You can take the, the handles off. You have a center neural here, and it's great to squat with. Uh, it's 440 bucks, somewhere in there after taxes, shipped to my door uh, in Sacramento, California. Uh, it looks really, really nice. It's got a great powder coat, and the knurling on these handles is seriously outstanding. It's a really, really good trap bar. And not only is it a good trap bar, it's a trap bar that you can use for other things such as squats, uh, and you can take the handles out and it's got that open design, which if you're going to get a trap bar, get the open design because they're so much more versatile. If I had to rank this out of my 10, this might be a surprise, but I'm going to rank it nine. Whoa, nine. But Jack, I thought you love this bar. I do love this bar. I love all my bars. In fact, out of all the bars I own, there's only one that I wouldn't buy again. The only reason I rank this nine out of 10 is I don't trap bar deadlift very much. I'm a power lifter. I like the idea of trap bar deadlifts. I try to throw it in my training sometimes, but to be quite honest, I just haven't, hasn't been a lot in my training. So the majority of time I use this bar, I use it as a squat bar, which I really, really like, but you know, it's a trap bar. So it's gonna be nine out of 10, but I still, if you're gonna do open, open, uh, Trap bar squats or trap bar deadlifts, it's a great bar. Okay, so next on the list, the Rogue Ohio deadlift bar. 
Uh, the deadlift bar I have, the Rogue Ohio deadlift bar, is bare steel. It's 27 millimeters, like all of them, and it's 190,000 PSI shaft with super aggressive neural. This bad boy's got lots of good whip. Um, it's just a really good, reliable deadlift bar, and it's at a really good price. I bought this in November of 2020. I think I paid just over $300 before shipping. Uh, now it's $345 on the website, Bear Steel. Uh, as of today, so it's going to get to your door probably just around under 400 or so, but it's it's a really nice bar. The reason I wanted a deadlift bar uh, is because I compete in powerlifting. And in some federations or associations in powerlifting, you use a power bar. You use a, like a Rogue Ohio power bar for deadlifts. But in others, you use a, sp a specific deadlift bar. And in uh, USAPA, which I compete in, United States Powerlifting Association, you use, typically you use deadlift bars, whether it's a Kabuki bar, whether it's a Rogue Ohio deadlift bar, or whether it's a Texas deadlift bar, you do use deadlift bars and they are different. Uh, it's different pulling the slack out of these. Uh, they feel different. They just have more whip, they have more flex. And so because of that, it's a definite bar that I wanna have, that I need to have to help me prepare for meets. So this bar is gonna be number two on the list. And if you don't have a deadlift bar and you want one, I highly suggest the Rogue Ohio deadlift bar. And I'll... Okay, next bar, the Titan Fitness Safety Squat Bar. I really like this bar a lot. I've had this for roughly three years. A couple things I really like it. One, the price. Uh, it's probably the best value safety squat bar, at least one of, that you can get. Um, as you may know, Titan Fitness has had a bad rap, actually a, a rap that was probably earned in the, in the past, but they are now making better equipment. Uh, they're making better bars. They just came out with a new adjustable bench that is evidently very, of very high quality. Um, I think that all started with this version two safety squat bar. This was kind of the, the piece of equipment that really uh, showed people, hey, Titan can actually do some really nice things. This bar is great uh, for a couple of reasons. One, the handles can come off, which is nice um, because if you want to do things like jam presses, you got to take the handles off. The pad has withstood, I use this a lot. I use this just about every week. Um, I use it instead of front squats. It, it mimics, it's almost like a, a half between a front squat and a goblet squat. But I use this as an accessory to my normal squat for powerlifting. I program it in a lot, uh, just about every week. So it's really good for that. It's good with uh, box squats, it's good with chains. The pads held up. One thing that's a little annoying with this bar is it's 61 pounds. Why is it 61? Is that an error? No, I weighed it, it was 61. I went on Titan's website, they said it was 61. Why make it 61 pounds? I don't know, it's an odd math thing, but overall this bar has been a great bar. I'm glad I bought it, I'd buy it again. They do have an American made bar, kind of a little bit of a dud because there wasn't a lot updated from this bar. So I really do like this bar. If you've got a chance to see the version one, which was God awful, it's probably the best upgrade from a version one to a version two product in the history of weightlifting equipment. This one, I'm gonna put it at number five of 10 of my favorite bars that I own. Okay, next in the lineup, we have the Rogue Cambered Bar 4. I like this bar a lot for a couple of reasons. One, this thing is 38 millimeters thick. 38 millimeter shaft, it's a long bar, it's 95 inches long, and it's got a really aggressive knurl. Now Rogue says it's the same as their power bar knurl, the Rogue Ohio power bar knurl. I disagree with that. I feel like it's, it's uh, more aggressive. This is black Cerakote, it's well done. I have a red Cerakote Ohio power bar. And guess what? This knurl feels sharper to me than my Rogue Ohio power bar. I don't know why, maybe it's because it's thicker, but the neural on this is fantastic. I like this bar a lot for a couple of reasons. One, it allows me to squat when I am having problems with my shoulders 
or when my bicep tendonitis or elbow tendonitis is acting up. When I get like that, I, I don't want to squat. Uh, and I can use the safety squat bar, but it's, it's really a different motion. This allows me to squat really heavy for my normal competition squat in training when my shoulders and my elbows don't want me to. So that's one reason. The second reason I really like this bar is it's really fun to bench with and get that added depth because of the camber. It's really well balanced. A camber bar like this to bench with has to be really well balanced. There are some bars, the Titan cambered bar for example, it, it's not a good bar to bench with. Now that you have the Duffalo bar by Kabuki, which is a good bar to bench with, uh, it's also a good bar to squat with, but I like this bar over the Duffalo bar, the Kabuki Strength Duffalo bar, for two reasons. One, it's thicker, 38 millimeters. Two, it's cheaper. It's just an awesome bar. If you want to see uh, more in-depth reviews, I have two of them. Check them out on my page. But this one I'm going to put at three of ten of my favorite bars. Okay, moving right along. The next bar on the list is my Reps Direct football bar. Uh, this bar, you don't, not a lot of people have this bar. Coop from Garage Gem Reviews, sometimes in the old videos you'd see it back up on his wall, um, but he never did do a review on it. He did talk about, I think, one little tiny snippet, uh, but it's a bar I really like. It's an American-made bar. It's made in Vegas. Um, it's an expensive bar, but I like this bar for a couple reasons. One, the figure eight design. I think is by far the best design for a football bar or a multi-grip bar because when you're doing things like presses, you're not going to knock your chin. Um, you'll notice with some of these bars, they're really, really wide, like Rogue's first version of their new uh, multi-grip bar. The thing was massive. Uh, they fixed it. Now they have a narrower one, but then you have to figure out how many, uh, how many handles am I going to buy, stainless steel, what position am I going to put them in, do I buy five handles, six handles, seven handles? And by the time you're all done figuring it out, you're never going to move them and you've paid $1,000. It's too confusing for me. I like this. It's got three handles. The angles are very well done. The welding is fantastic. Um, and like I said, the figure eight is really the way to go with the football bar for things like pressing. Uh, you can tell here, and I'll show some close up. Uh, I use wrap wax on this bar because the knurl is kind of slick. I wish in hindsight I would have just got this bar raw so you could see the welds and all that, the different colors. A lot of people when they do get this bar get it raw, I think it looks cool. I didn't do that in hindsight I would. But it's kind of gunky because I use, whoops, I use wrap wax um, on the bar and that works really well. On most of my other bars I use chalk. but. I like this bar to bench with. A lot of times I'll bench wide five reps, middle five reps, narrow five reps uh, for five sets of 15 and it just destroys you. Uh, the other thing is it's great with bands. Um, it's great to do curls with. If you curl it this way, it's like a nice uh, easy curl bar. But if you curl it this way, it's like you're doing hammer curls. So it's my go-to curl bar. I use it more than my other curl bar. Uh, which isn't in my list, by the way, uh, because it's just great. Uh, and, and it's got different handles to, to, to work different parts of your bicep, and it's made extremely well. The other thing is the guy uh, in Vegas will customize this. I mean, you can work with him on if you want more than three handles, if you want them straight or curved. It's just a fun bar to have. You're also supporting Reps Direct is a local small business, which I like. And they were the first uh, company, to my knowledge, that started putting out these football bars 30 years ago. Uh, this bar was at Westside Barbell, Louis Simmons. Uh, if you watch some of his old videos, this exact bar, well, not this bar, but a bar that looks just like this by Reps Direct was in that gym. So this bar, uh, it's a tough one, but I think I'm going to put this bar number four of ten of the favorite bars that I own, the Reps Direct football bar. Okay, so moving along, we now have an Olympic bar, the Rogue Ollie bar. This bad boy is 200 PSI, 28 millimeter. There's needle bearings in each sleeve, made in Germany. The thing is got really hard chrome sleeves, uh, Olympic power marks only. 
obviously no center neural for the Olympic lifts. Uh, it's a really good bar. It's an expensive bar. You might be asking yourself, Jack, I didn't know you did Olympic lifts. I've, I've watched a few of your videos. I've never seen you do Olympic lifts. You do Olympic lifts. Uh, no, no, I don't. Okay, well, Jack, why did you buy an Olympic bar if you don't do Olympic lifts? It's a good question. I have no idea. Uh, and because of that, I rarely use this bar. Uh, it's a nice bar. I'm sure it's a great bar uh, with needle bearings and, and, and everything, and it spins really fast if I did Olympic lifts. But I don't do Olympic lifts. I got in a little over my head, decided I need to have an Ollie bar because I just wanted one. Um, I'll bench with it occasionally, but it does spin real fast, which is kind of awkward benching. It doesn't have power marks, so I never know where to put my hands. Um, I just don't use this bar very much. I'm not saying Ollie bars aren't nice, and I'm not saying that the Rogue Ollie bar is not nice, but for me, this definitely ranks number 10 out of 10. Uh, it's my least favorite bar that I've purchased because I don't use it, and it's the one bar I wouldn't buy again because I don't do Olympic lifts. Rogue Ollie bar. Okay, we're getting down to the last couple bars. Will this bar be the number one bar that I've bought for my favorite? We shall see. This is the Texas Bench Bar. This bar is a mammoth of a bar. Over eight feet long, 55 pounds, 30 millimeter diameter with a super aggressive neural. In fact, the neural on this bad boy is more aggressive than on any bar that I own with the exception of my Rogue Ohio deadlift bar. Uh, it's by far the longest bar that I own. I don't know if it does it justice uh, watching this on your screen, but this thing is so long, it's almost ridiculous, especially when you look at these beautiful uh, chrome sleeves. If you haven't had a chance to see a Texas bar in person, the sleeves are just amazing. The huge collars on these, they're so well done. They're ribbed. Just really, really cool. It's a staple of Texas bars. This bar is no different. Uh, this bar is black zinc. The zinc does rub off. I don't love that. Uh, but the sleeves are chrome. They look great. So uh, what do I think about this bar? Would I buy it again? I would buy this bar again, but it's definitely not a necessity. You can watch the full review. I've done a full review on it. Um, but I like it for a couple reasons. One, it's super, super stiff. So it's fun to bench with. Now, technically, it was probably designed for equipped benchers benching 700 to 1,000 pounds with these massive bench shirts because it will not give an inch. It's that stiff. Okay, I get it, but it's still fun for somebody like me to bench 350 with it, right? Um, is it necessary? No, it's not necessary to buy a bench bar. You can bench with, I can bench with any of these bars. I can bench with an Ollie bar, but it's, it's, it's fun to do so. And it's also very similar to the Texas squat bar. The Texas squat bar is also 55 pounds. The Texas squat bar is a little bit thicker. This is 30 millimeters. I think the Texas squat bar is like 31.25 or something. Um, it's, it's a little bit bigger. So this, the, the diameter of the, the bench bar is a little less than the squat bar. Um, the sleeves are a little bit different in terms of the loadable sleeve length. The squat bar, uh, the sleeves are out further so you can get a really wide grip. Uh, you don't need that with the bench bar. But outside of that, they're really the same bar. They, they feel similar. I've used both of them. Uh, my buddy has the Texas squat bar, so I've used it a bunch. But this bar is really fun to squat with. And I've told, I tell people in this in my other review, I feel like uh, having the Texas squat bar and a Texas bench bar is overkill, unless you can afford it, because I think they both work well uh, doing the opposite. So I think this this... The uh, Texas squat bar is a really good bench bar, uh, and the bench bar is a really good squat bar. So I use this bar uh, normally when I'm getting ready for a meet that's going to have a 55-pound squat bar because I don't have a I don't own a 55-pound squat bar. I should own one, and maybe I will soon, but I don't right now. Uh, overall, though, out of the out of the 10 ranking, I'm going to have to put this one at number seven of 10 of my favorite bars that I own. And just because it's, it's really just a necessity, but still the Texas bench bar is a really badass bar. 
Okay, only a few bars left, and we have another Rogue bar, the Rogue Ohio bar. This bad boy, stainless steel, uh, it's one of the best multi-use bars you can buy. $370 for stainless steel, and in my opinion, stainless steel is by far the best coating you can get. It's also probably the most expensive, but uh, it's stainless steel is great because it doesn't dull the neural and it will not rust. So this thing, it's just a great bar. It's got dual marks. You, you have your Olympic marks. You got your power marks. You can do Olympic lifts with this bar. You can do power lifts. Uh, it's your typical 28.5 millimeter uh, multi-use bar diameter. It's got bronze bushings. It's just overall a great bar. There's other bars out that, there that try to mimic this bar. Uh, this bar's been a bestseller for a long time for a reason. Uh, you can get like the Colorado bar, Rep Fitness. Uh, you know, I don't think by the way they have stainless steel, but they do have hard chrome. It's a little bit cheaper than this bar, but it's also made in China. This is made in Ohio. Uh, it's tried and true. It's just a fantastic bar. If you can only have one barbell, uh, this might be the bar you'd want because you can do all the lifts. You can do Olympic lifts, like I said. You can do all the power lifts. The only downside to this bar for me as a power lifter is it doesn't have a center neural, uh, which is why, you know, I like a center neural because I, I like a bar that I can squat with. But can you squat with this bar? You can squat with this bar, even if it doesn't have a center neural. Uh, you can also, if, you, if you're going to squat heavy with this bar and you're worried about it slipping, wear a, a grip shirt, an A7 grip shirt. Uh, that'll do just the trick. Um, but overall, what a great bar. It's one of my favorite bars. I hate to rank this so low because I love this bar so much, but out of all the bars I have, I'm going to rank it at number six out of 10 of my favorite bars. And it's just because my own personal preference, I love a center neural. It doesn't have a center neural. So it's a bar I don't squat with very much, but to bench with this bar and deadlift with this bar, it's fantastic. If I did Olympic lifts, <laughs> As you know, I don't. It also uh, works really well for those. It spins nicely. Fantastic bar. Rogue Ohio bar coming in at number six. Okay, finally, my favorite bar of the top 10 of the bars I own. What's the number one out of 10? It's going to the Rogue Ohio Power Bar. The reason for this, kind of simple. It wasn't that difficult of a choice for me. I compete in powerlifting, so having a power bar is my favorite bar. It makes sense. The Rogue Ohio Power Bar is the bar that really kind of set the standard for high quality power bars that were reasonably affordable. This thing, I think right now in Cerakote, it's like $350. That's such a good price for a bar of this caliber. You can squat with it, you can bench with it, you can deadlift with it. In fact, the first power lifting meet I ever did, they used the Rogue Ohio Power Bar and they used it for all three lifts. Um, I didn't do very well at that meet. It was my first one, but that meet was the reason I decided I wanted to buy this bar. Uh, and I haven't looked back since. I love the bar. I decided to get it in the red Cerakote, the red with the proprietary matte black sleeves. The reason I did that is because I love the red and black. You can kind of tell with my, with my rack here. Red and black I, is kind of my color theme. Uh, I think it looks great. I will say in hindsight, I do wish I would have got this in stainless steel because Cerakote does dull the neural a little bit and the Rogue Ohio Power Bar Neural, it's legendary. People like it and they like it because it's such a great neural. But with the Cerakote, it does dull it just a tad bit. But overall, what a great bar. If you don't have a bar like this in your collection, you're crazy, especially for the price. Is it the best power bar in the world? I'm not saying it's the best power bar in the world. There are bars like the Chewy Bar from American Barbell, which is a fantastic bar, but it's quite a bit more expensive than this. I do think for the price, you're not gonna do better than the Rogue Ohio Power Bar, and that's why it's number one on my list. Hope you liked the video. If you did, you know what? Leave a comment, what bars do you like? What bars should I buy next? Because I am gonna buy some bars uh, in, in the very near future. And also uh, hit the like button. Hey, until next time, Adiós.